Namaste. Today on Touch of Light, I want to talk about the subject that understanding is overrated. Very often people feel, perhaps you feel this way, that you can't change something until you understand it, that you need to reason it out, you need to understand everything that's going on, and only after you understand can you then go on and change things. This is really a false way of looking at the world. One time I was with Swami Kriyananda, our lifelong teacher and wonderful soul, and he was correcting a pattern in me that was not helpful. It was in terms of helping be a leader for other people. And in this case, I had a tendency to uh, if they had a plan or a thought to do something and I knew that it wouldn't work, I would kind of block that. And he was correcting me and he was really quite strong about it. He said that they need to have a chance to experiment. If it, do, if it fails, that will be a wonderful lesson to them. Don't stop them from learning their lessons. And he was speaking with me quite strongly. And I said, I understand, Swamiji. And he said, I don't care whether you understand or not. I want you to change. And it was a very good lesson for me because he was telling me that the mind isn't the real implement that we work with. Our real implement is the heart. It's feeling. And if you have a certain feeling for something, your mind will follow that feeling. It will, if you want to buy a new car, your mind will start thinking of reasons that you should buy a new car. If you want anything that the heart wants, the mind will figure out a rationale to make that possible, both negative and positive. And so feelings are more important than understanding. And what we really need to do is we need to bring our feelings and our thoughts together. Swami Kriyananda told us a definition, a good definition of wisdom is when a person has both a feeling nature and a mental nature that's in balance. Then they can see the whole picture. So in working with people, in doing your job, in your relationships at home, try to combine both your heart energy, your feeling energy, and your mind energy, and don't have the delusion that you have to understand everything before you can change. Just make the changes that you need to make and get on with life.